Welcome to snowy Detroit as today our Washington Redskins will be taking on the Detroit Lions in Detroit, Michigan. Here at Ford Field, snow on the ground as our 14-0 Washington Redskins will take the field here. The Lions are already out of the playoffs, but they are looking to play spoiler. Can they do that here today? I don't know. If you want to find out, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new to it at all and love franchise gameplay. Both in Madden, MLB, and NCAA football as the Lions will start with it and carry on Johnson is going to take it for a three-yard gain on first down. Wearing these Thanksgiving uniforms as carry on Johnson. Another big run, huge hit from Landon Collins, but he will pick up the first down, and he's got 14 already in this game. Now play fake, and down goes Stafford. Donovan Stallings ever able to make the big sack there to make it third and 17 here at this point. Stafford underneath throw to carry on Johnson, and that'll just be a two-yard gain, and Johnson goes down with an injury. Holding on to his wrist, he would wrist he would come out of the game. Here's second and ten, and that's going to be Tyler Morris, and he will throw it over to Ambrose for an eight-yard gain. It'll be third and two here. The give to Jeffrey Moore, and Moore will just get enough to get the first down, and he will go down with an injury. So right away, two running backs out of this one. First and ten, throw left side for Morris. He will throw that one over to Bryce Love. For a six-yard gain, now a throw, and that's going to be intercepted. Big play, Darius Slay makes the play. And that'll put Detroit into Washington territory to start this one. Stafford with the read option. He gets hit and fumbles, and Deron Payne recovers. Now in the Wildcat, it is the rookie backup running back, Ramon Jacoby going for 20 yards in the Wildcat to set up first down from the 34. Here goes Jacoby again, and he is going to pick himself up about 10 yards on that play. They give him nine and a half. Here's a second and one, and Jacoby can't get there. It's a fumble picked up by Detroit, and Quincy Wilson on the recovery will get it back for the Lions. However, there would be a booth review here, and as you can see in this booth review, it really looks like Jacoby's knee hit the ground before it started coming out. Ref says same thing, and there's Jeffrey Moore back into the ball game to pick up the third and one. He'd pick up more than that, though, as the face mask called against Detroit's left outside linebacker, Braden Lucas. So first and goal, here goes Moore. He's going to get the edge and dive into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Redskins will take the 7-0 lead. Redskins strike first with 4.08 to go in the first, and now Detroit taking over. This is not on Johnson, but Lehman, who will pick up 16 yards. Now the quick RPO throw over to Kenny Galladay, and Gappy Galladay is to you. Only two yards on that play. Now a third and six. Here's Stafford going to throw up the middle. He's got big cock Hawkinson for a first down. So first and ten. Here goes Lehman again. A big pickup. That is quite a lot for him. He's got three runs for 30 yards. He's doing even better than Carrion was. Here's a throw from Stafford. Perfectly placed for the first down. Which brings us to the end of the first quarter. 7-0. Now back from the break, Stafford on a third and 12 and ready to score from the 15. He throws that perfectly to Gappy Galladay's for the touchdown. And the Lions have tied this thing up with 8.47 to go in the half. Here goes Jeffrey Moore. He gets the edge. He's down the right sideline. Can anybody even come near him? There are a couple guys actually that do get close to him, but he is able to score the touchdown and put the Redskins back on top with his 10th rushing touchdown of the year, making it 14-7. So Stafford will take over relatively quickly here and a deep throw left sideline. They're going to say that one was out of bounds, even though it was really close. Here's a third and 12 for Stafford. He's got all day to throw. He finds a wide open receiver, and that is going to go for a first down over to the 44-yard line. And the Lions on the move here. It is Lehman. Lehman with a big run up the middle. And that is quite the gain of 
11 yards and a first down. So first and 10 from the Redskin 42. There's Lehman again. He's going to pick up about four yards and make it a second and six. So here's Stafford. He's going to play fake it this time, and that'll be the death of him as Donovan Stallings gets to him for the second time. Third and 14 upcoming here with just 5'10 to play. It is Stafford throwing right side. Could have been a catch, but not thrown far enough. Knocked away. And the Lions would punt here. Screen over to Jeffrey Moore. And Jeffy going to pick up the first down with a 12-yard gain. So first and 10. Here's Morris looking underneath. He's going to throw this one to Mason Sams, the man who had the breakout last week. And he's got himself a 9.5-yard gain. Second and inches. Jeffrey Moore finds the way. He's able to get the left edge. And what a run by Jeffrey Moore. That is just how he does it. Jeffrey Moore with another TD here. His 15th run of over 20 yards on the year. His second rushing touchdown today. It's 21-7. But a wide open receiver. And Javante Hawkins can't get over in time. It's a touchdown for Detroit as they will come striking right back. But it's still a lead for the Redskins as they have the ball here. That one's tipped away on third and 12. And the Redskins would have to punt. So a second and 11. They're going to give this one over to Lehman. Lehman instant 10 plus yards for him. 13 they give him. And a first down. So Detroit from their own 46 from the two minute warning. A throw right side. Hawkinson is going to get this one for a two-yard gain. That'll leave a third and eight for Detroit. Nobody open here for Stafford. He throws left side. It's knocked away, and Detroit would have to punt. So now the Redskins with a minute 42 to go before the half, and you can see Jeffrey Moore running for seven yards. Now a pump fake and a throw to Mason Sams. Sams does it again. He picks up 14 and a first down to midfield. So third and ten. Morris has legitimately all day to find John Ross up the middle for a 15-yard gain. Redskins take their first time out of the half with 21 seconds to go. Here's Morris. He does running out of time. He will go down. The sack is going to make it third and 23. Just 12 seconds to play in the half. That one's incomplete. It'll be fourth and 23. Redskins would punt it away. And we are going to go into the tunnel at halftime here with a 21-14 lead for the Washington Redskins back after this. So you can see the Giants up 14-7 in their game. And let's get back to ours as it's going to be Jeffrey Moore. A big run to open up the second half. Nice 10-yard gain. He's got 166 yards today. Throw left side, John Ross. Ross does everything he can to fight past the marker and get that first down. So first and 10 for the Redskins. It's a throw right side. It's Jeffrey Moore. And Moore's got some space to run. He gets away from a tackle, and he will be knocked out of bounds by big play Slay. First and 10 from the 20. Throw left side. It's caught. And that will be a gain of six. So now Tyler Morris on second and four looking for a man. He finds one, Jordan Rudolph. However, the holding call is going to bring that one back. Dirty laundry on the field for Brandon Scherf. So now second and 14. Morris throws left side. He's got Mason Sams inside the five to the four-yard line. Third and goal from the six, give to Jeffrey Moore, and a touchdown again, his fourth one of the game. Jeffrey Moore has just been explosive today, and he continues it. First and ten, they're going to give this one to Heyman. Heyman's pushed on the ground and a fumble, but Detroit will come back up with it. Third and eight from their own 27. Stafford's going to go down. He walked right into that one. Jonathan Allen will get him for the first time. Leaving it 4th and 14, they would punt it away, so Tyler Morris on a 2nd and 14, going to throw this one, and that's going to get intercepted. Nice play on the ball for Dre Greenlaw in coverage on Jeffrey Moore, second pick of the day for Morris, and that throw away is going to lead to another punt for Detroit, and look at this sack on the blitz for Jelani Tavai. He's going to come in. 
and get Tyler Morris, make it third and 17. Morris is a sitting duck in the end zone. He is able to barely get it away to Joseph Thick. But Redskins would punt it from their own end zone. Lions get decent field position here, but not as good as they could have gotten. It was a great punt. So Stafford throws that one, and that'll pick up some yards to make it a third and two. And Heyman, Lehman, that is, going to be able to get the first down on the next play. Now a throw left side. It is Hawkinson. Hawkinson is able to pick up a good little six-yard gain, and that'll end the third quarter, 28-14. Back for the fourth quarter, Stafford on second and two, gonna throw this one, that's gonna be complete underneath. Nice gain for the first down, it'll be second and 10 on that next set of downs. Here's a throw right side, Hawkinson has it. Hawkinson trying to juke, but he'll go out of bounds with a seven yard gain and make it third and three. Stafford again throwing this one, knocked away. Great defense by Anthony Buchanan. Lions come in to try a field goal here of 47 yards, it is right down the middle. So the Lions are able to get some points there, make it 28-17, still a two-possession game, and Jeffrey Moore on third and eight picks up a big first down. So now with 7.32 to go, Morris a sitting duck, and Lucas playing really well today. He has two sacks. Morris has got to get this one away. It's going to Moore, and he's just tripped up. So Lions take over with it. Here's a nice throw from Stafford. He gets the toe drag. So a first and 10 for the Lions with 5.44 to go, and Stafford goes right into Donovan Stallings for the third time today. Stallings gets the sack. It's been a sack fest here in this fourth quarter, and Stafford will throw this one underneath. It'll be caught, but it is not going to go anywhere near a first down. It does move along a little bit, though, making a third and eight. Here's a throw. That'll be a first down grab for Gappy Galladay's. And we have got a first and 10 from the Redskin 28. Lions trying to come back in this one. There's a throw to Gappy Galladay's. He's going to lose the football. He loses the football, and it's picked up by Bo Tatum, the superstar middle linebacker, with the recovery. Redskins get it. It'll be a third and 14 now as they're trying to waste some of the time here that is available. And there's going to be a throw underneath to John Ross. He breaks a tackle, and he will get to the 28. And that is where the Redskins would punt from on fourth and seven so the lions again get another chance here but they got to get something done layman doing a nice job here trying to get to the first down marker on second and 14. he gets close one yard shy third and one from the 48 yard line throw left side stafford's picked off that's zimmerman dave zimmerman starts his way the other way and he will get to midfield a big interception for zimmerman as he is having a fantastic year there is a sack, and Morris comes down and another punt for the Redskins. So the Lions get it back yet again, and that'll be a first down. Now a third and 12 on that next set of downs. Here's Stafford throwing and an inaccurate pass. He's going to lead to their last chance here with fourth and 12. He throws right side. It's going to be caught and knocked way loose into the middle of next week. So the Redskins get it back, and just running the clock out here, Jeffrey Moore's just too good. What a dive into the end zone. His fifth rushing touchdown. The entire offense was Jeffrey Moore, and that was enough this afternoon as the Redskins come away with a 35-17 win in the snow. Ball was a little slippery for Tyler Morris all day today. Redskins could not even pass for 100 yards in this game. But former Redskin Paul Richardson Jr. does go down. To his old team, Matthew Stafford, 24 of 37 for 256, two touchdowns, one interception. Morris had a bad game, 13 to 26, and two picks. Jeffrey Moore, 205 yards on the ground with five touchdowns, and that was after getting hurt in the first quarter. Nelson Aguilar, 139 yards and a touchdown. Gabby Galladay's 57 and a touchdown. Just an absolutely incredible game from Jeffrey Moore. There's nothing you could really else say really about it as we take a peek at the defensive stats. And you can see Bo Tatum, 11 tackles today, two TFLs, big game for him. Three sacks for Donovan Stallings. Just a great game from RD End. And Dave Zimmerman, the rookie, I don't know how many picks he has. It's a lot, maybe like 11, 12, I don't know. Forced fumbles there by Buchanan, by
by Collins. Just a great game all around played by this defense. Really just clamping down when they had to. Of course, Jeffrey Moore gets an upgrade. Zimmerman gets one. Buchanan gets one. Bach gets one. Ross Mackey, Jamarcus Fields, Sheldon Hughes. And you can see Jeffrey Moore wins Offensive Player of the Week in the NFC. Why wouldn't he? He had 205 yards and five touchdowns on only 16 touches. He also ties the all-time rushing record for touchdowns in a game. That is a great list to be on. We are going to be taking on the Packers with our opportunity to go 16-0 coming up. Do you think we can actually do it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like on it as well as subscribe if you are new to the channel and can't wait to see more Madden content. You're a pretty little star boy. Look what you've